good morning standard 9 students today i shall be teaching you act 1 scene 2 okay now today we shall be going to belmont to meet this rich lady by the name of Portia, who bassanio was praising in act 1 scene 1 how she is in great demand Okay, suitors coming from all four corners of the world. He also wants to take part in the lottery system so that he could win this lady. So he had approached his best friend Antonio to arrange 3,000 ducats so that he could equip himself and portray himself as a very rich suitor. So then he can take part and compete with the other rich suitors in the world. Okay. So let us meet this lady who is in great demand. Okay. Now we are aware that she is a very good looking, very pretty, beautiful lady. She is fairer than the word fair. Okay. Everybody knows her of her polite and gentle. Her character is very good. Her golden color hair attracts so many people who wants to marry her. And moreover, she is very, very rich. So let us meet this rich and beautiful lady, Portia. Okay. Now the scene takes place in Belmont. So first we were in Venice, now we have come to Belmont. A room in Portia's house, enter Portia and Nerissa. Now Nerissa is a maid as well as a well-wisher and a good friend to Portia. Okay. Now like the previous scene, Act 1, Scene 1, the scene opens with a sad note where Antonio is now talking about his sadness and he does not know. Like that, similarly, Portia has also have some complaint in her life. So Portia, by my trot, Nerissa, my little body is a weary of this great world. So she tells Nerissa, by my fate, oh, very sincerely and honestly, I am telling you that I am tired of this world. I am fed up of this world. Now we are talking about the same beautiful and rich lady whose nature and character has also been praised to a great extent. Let us see her in real life. She is fed up of this world. She is very serious. She says, by my trot, by God, by my faith, I am tired of this world. There is her. You would be, sweet madam, says you should be tired of this world. If your miseries were in the same abundance as your good fortunes are. He says, yes, you will be tired of this world. Why you will be tired of this world? Because you are very, very rich. In your life, there are no problems, there are no difficulties. Miseries means difficulties and problems. So now you are so rich, so you don't face any difficulties, you don't face any problems. But, and because of that, because you have your richness in excess, 
there is no room for problems and difficulties. So such people who are very, very rich, they get tired of their lives. And yet for aught I see, they are as sick, that's so fate, with too much as they that scarce with nothing. He says, now I have been observing that this kind of a disease appears to those people who have got in abundance and plentiful means they are very, very, very rich. Okay. They suffer with one disease. The similar disease is also suffered by people who have got nothing. We are talking about the very poor people. So your richness in abundance has got the same disease which a poor man who has nothing, he also suffers with the same disease. Because both these people, their richness is not balanced. One has got in excess, one has got nothing. Now both are tired of this. And those who have got plenty, they also age very fast. They become old very fast. Maybe they die at a very young age. The similar fate takes place with a man who has got nothing. He also gets fed up of life. He has to starve and starve, go and beg, borrow, or steal to get his food. So that kind of life also a poor man suffers. He also wants to have an early death. He also ages fast due to starvation. The rich man due to excess of richness, he ages fast. He says, but those who live a moderate life. A moderate life means not very rich, not very poor, in the middle. So these people live longer lives because they have got their richness and their miseries balanced. Okay. One is very rich, no miseries. One is full of miseries, no richness. So they have the same disease. They suffer with the same kind of disease. So now here, remember Nerissa is a maid. She is a servant girl. But see the way she has explained to Portia as to why Portia is fed up of this world. Because you being a very rich girl, how much you have, you're living a life of luxury. And that is making you fed up. So in the same way, a poor man also suffers the same thing with nothing. So this is when she says this, superfluity comes sooner by white hairs, but competency lives longer. Superfluity means something people who are very rich, they age faster. But those who are living moderate lives, those whose lives are in equal balance, they live longer. Okay. Now, this is the kind of explanation a maid servant had given the mistress. 
so it was appreciated by Portia. She says, good sentences and well pronounced. Says, you have spoken like a judge. The sentences which you use, the word sentence itself is pronounced only in the court of law. The judges uses these words. Like the prisoner will be sentenced for five years in prison. So here she is comparing Nerissa giving her that kind of compliment like of a judge. Because very well she explained it. She says, you would be sweet madam if your miseries were in the same abundance as your good fortune are. Means if you have problems and difficulties like you are having your richness. And yet for aught I see, they are as sick that so faint. That means those people are sick that doesn't have anything with no much. With too much as they that starve with nothing. That means one who has got an excess and one who has got nothing. It is no mean happiness before. Means, means also means money. Who can afford? He has the means to educate his children. So here it is a confusion about how the word mean is used. Okay. But what it actually means that she is explaining about a kind of a disease which affects a very rich person and a similar disease affect a very poor person. And then she concludes by saying that those who have plenty they age very fast and those who live a moderate life, those whose life is balanced, they live longer. Okay, I shall end it over here and then continue slowly. I'll be explaining the rest of the scene. Thank you.